welcome to Falcon Weekly here on bgsufalcons.com. I'm Evan, Pim I'm Evan Pimnick, joined by the head coach of the Bowling Green Falcons, Chris Bergeron. Coach, appreciate you uh, joining me here on Falcon Weekly this week. As every week, um, this past weekend, a split with Lake Superior. Just talk about the weekend uh, that was. Uh, well, I, you know, we, we, we didn't play very well on Friday. Uh, that had lots to do with them. Uh, they played very well and they played hard, uh, which we were expecting them to play hard. They came off a big sweep at home against Bemidji, and um, the first 10 minutes of Friday night were just not very good, and they set the tone for the game. It was 2 nothing at the end of that, uh, at that time point. And, um, you know, we found ourselves in a, in a situation Saturday morning again trying to regroup and, and make amends for um, not a very good performance on, on uh, Friday. We were able to do that, but the, the, the concerning part is, is what's going on on that Friday night. And, uh, you know, we had a, not a very good Friday night effort at Michigan Tech. Then we come home in a series that, um, you know, we wanted to start the game a certain way on Friday, and we weren't able to start on time. And, uh, you know, it's something we're going to continue to work on. It's, it's, it's something that, uh, you know, I think the, the last eight games, you look at from the outdoor game till, till the end of Saturday, 4-2-2, two, and two, it was our worst eight-game segment to this point. And, and believe me, 4-2-2, two, two, a couple of years ago, we're, we're doing backflips. But, you know, things have changed. And... Uh, the process over those eight games, for the most part, wasn't good enough. Um, you know, I think three of the eight we uh, we had a good process, and five of the eight it wasn't good at all. And when, when it's not good at all, you don't give yourself much of an opportunity in this league where we it's proven time and time again that top to bottom anybody can beat anybody on a given night. Now you have uh, basically ten straight weeks coming up of playing uh, every weekend. Does that kind of play into you know the you kind of struggle a bit? Uh, not really struggle, but you go to that four two and two stretch, and then come out, and then make sure you have to go into the Vigian. What's the, the mindset going into that? Or the well, hopefully the mindset is to is to pick up where we left off on Saturday night. But uh, you know that that's where it becomes difficult because they're young guys, and as you say, it, it's going to be a, it, we're in the middle of a long stretch of games. There's the second half, and you know we've got six weeks left. We've got 12 games to go, guaranteed, and. You know, we're fighting for a playoff spot like everybody else, and that would give us two more if we were able to make the playoffs, or, or two out of three series if we were, were able to make the playoffs. So uh, it's, it's our job as coaches to make sure the schedule is one that gives the guys ample amount of rest. I mean, I, I've said this before. I think part of our preparation week in and week out is going to be rest. Um, Mondays are a day that we really want to be careful and, and, and make sure our guys are, are getting the rest. We get good, good work days of Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, but there, it becomes mental. There's no doubt about it. Physically, we'll make sure they're not tired. Uh, the mental grind uh, in, in the kind of the middle stretch of the season, if you will. I mean, this next eight-game segment, we have to find a way. You know, that'll leave us with four games to go in the regular season. And uh, this next eight-game segment is against difficult teams. Uh, it's uh, I don't know. I think it's four and four, road and home. Um, and uh, it, it's. Coming down the stretch here, it's going to tell a big tale how we do over this next stretch. And again, I think our biggest challenge is going to be mental more than physical. Now, this weekend, we travel to uh, Bemidji to take on the Beavers. They are coming off of a very good weekend. They played in that uh, non-conference tournament that they took out uh, Minnesota Duluth and Minnesota State. Obviously, a tough task going in there and playing them uh, on the road. 100%. I mean, I don't uh, like, like Lake Superior. I'm, I think Bemidji's a much better team than their record indicates, both non-conference and in the league. Their non-conference schedule is very difficult. You add those two games this past weekend to that non-conference schedule. They played North Dakota. Uh, they played some really good teams. Um, the, the series we played Bemidji here, those games could have went either way. I mean, we found a way to win both those games, and that's great for us. But uh, the reality was they were very, very, very tight games, both, uh, both of them were. So it's going to be a difficult series. Uh, I'm sure they're hungry to play us at home, get back to league play, as you say, coming off a great weekend. Because the weekend before, on the road at Lake Superior, they didn't do well. Uh, they obviously responded very well. So uh, once again, another difficult series in, in, in league, and we're going to have to be ready. Friday, uh, Chris Nell got the start Saturday. Connor Burke got the start. Is that the same way going into this weekend? Well, we haven't made that decision yet. Um, you know, right now, Nell seems to be struggling with his game a little bit, and Tommy Burke seems to be on top of it. But that's not something that – that's just more in games uh, over the last two weekends. And, um, we'll continue to evaluate and make the decisions, uh, you know, in time for Friday's game like we always do. Well, Coach, I appreciate you joining me here on Falcon Weekly. Best luck this weekend. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it.